Yo, what's up guys? So um, we're almost done painting and clear coating everything on the inside. Today we got our interior right there. It's got a little bit of overspray, nothing crazy, something I can wipe down. So I'm just gonna clean up all the panels. Um, and once that's done, we're just gonna have it sit inside the house so it doesn't collect too much dust. We're gonna go ahead and get the guys to go put on the windows back on and start putting our interior back in, which includes carpet, seats, uh, I'm going to hold off on the seats a little bit just for easy access. Um, I'm not even going to put the dash yet. I'm going to wait on that uh, until the motor is completely in. And we don't have to do nothing under the dash because getting in there with the seats and the and the door bars and all that is kind of a hassle. Um, so yeah, so we're making progress. Engine bay is done. Start putting the headlights, fenders, all that great stuff. And hopefully we get our car back. So let's go. We, uh, I had met Victor with uh, Drift for Epilepsy a while ago. What's up guys? So today we are going to switch out the wheels. Um, I have uh, four lugs, stock SE wheels, but all the tires are blown. So it kind of makes it a little difficult to roll around. I'm going to put these bad boys right here. They got brand new tires on them, so I'm going to mount those for now so I can roll it around. Um, next week, we're going to start uh, putting the windows back on, put the interior in. In the meantime, this is what we're going to do and start connecting a couple of other things. I have the storm brackets for the fenders, going to put those on um, and properly put on the fenders, um, put on the side skirt correctly and just start cleaning her up little by little so she starts looking more like a car and yeah, and then all we're just waiting for is for that motor to get done, start plugging and playing, install that and hopefully run her. I know this doesn't sound like too much, but it's still a long process that we got to go. Um, we're already like mid-August. Holy shift is in about uh, two weeks or so. Uh, so we're going to be out there. We're going to be driving other people's cars that have offered to drive. And not only that, we're going to be helping and working at the event, making sure that everything goes correctly. Um, but yeah, let's get it. So another thing we're going to be painting are the... Um, uh, the side mirrors um, they previously painted this white I believe um, the car and then it got some overspray and this is like a, a faded black already so we're gonna go hit it with some black we're gonna put flake in it and clear coat it um, along with the trim that goes right here right under the windshield um, just no flake just paint it black and a couple other trims that I'm gonna paint black just to make sure everything looks nice and clean but she's getting there I already put the front wheels, now we're going to put the rear ones and um, start uh, taking out some stuff out of the engine bay, like all those lines that we don't need, start getting that out of there, and that's it. Alright, what's up guys, so we're back, uh, we just took the side mirrors off, we're going to go ahead and paint them, as you can see, uh, they got a overspray from previous owner, um, these came on the car, they're like faded black, so we're going to repaint them black, put some flake in it and clear coat it, and call it a day. So here we go, 
they look really good this is just the front side uh, then we're gonna flip it around and get it in the meantime this is the the trim that goes uh, under your rear windshield uh, holds the other um, trimming down so we did that and then and yeah that's pretty much it we also did the trim that goes right over the um, that covers the wipers so but this is coming out really nice looks way better than before super excited then we're just gonna let them dry hit them with clear coat and flake and we're good to go all right so we're slowly putting everything back together um, I painted that trim as well too so it looks nice and black really looks good I um, already uh, ordered all my aftermarket lines uh, with Jackson so we're gonna wait for those to get here swap everything out so we can clean up that part of the engine bay I'll uh, make it look really nice and as far as the engine bay goes she is officially ready that's that's the only thing we were waiting for for the engine bay and besides that motor mounts and engine are gonna go in so yeah man small details count super excited um, as far as the cage cage looks amazing I am really happy with the way that it came out looks really good um, super aesthetic so windows get put on tomorrow like I said and we start putting carpet in door panels we start putting all the interior except seats and a dash so we can have space to work with all the lines and stuff like that but super excited to show you guys back on and start putting that interior in boy let's go cleaned up the overspray on the glasses looking really good guys we just put the windshields on thanks to luxury auto glass man everybody go give them a follow these guys come out to your house nice and early on time do amazing work windshields are finally back on which means we can start putting our door panels on uh, carpet and all the other interior parts uh, super excited I've been dying to put the interior back in so I can see it all come together with the color of the cage and all that um, yeah man let's do that we're gonna do that later on today uh, it's still early morning so technically we should be working but we are working from home so you know sometimes i play a little leeway but i'm always caught up on my work so i always make sure my work is handled and then i come play with the car so 
let's go. Just so you guys can get an idea how this is gonna look. Oof, man, that thing is beautiful. Yes, sir. All right, we got somewhat of the carpet back in. Still got a cut uh, around the, the box, around the cage over there, just to make it sit flush. Besides that, I mean, she looks nice. Kind of like a rough draft. All right, guys, I know you guys are wondering, why are you gonna put interior with a full cage? See, I like the Jap Japanese style, JDM style. Uh, people over there in Japan be rocking full cages with interior. Um, so I'm super excited to put it. A lot of people run the bolt-on cages with the interior because it's a little easier to go around the interior. Um, but mine's fully welded in, so I really can't move the cage. So I just gotta work the interior around the cage, which I think is a pretty dope concept. Um, so, so far the door panels have to be adjusted and cut. So they fit the door bar. Um, the carpet is gonna be cut a little bit. And then now, um, you know, we gotta see what other panels we can fit in and what do we have to cut to make it fit. But I think the interior um, is gonna look dope. We're gonna put the bottom half of the rear seats in as well so that's gonna really clean up that whole section and really make it flow um we got the dash we got the center console all that great stuff um we even got the um i think they're called like a and b pillars the ones that go right around uh in front of your in front of your view right in the pillar of the window so we got those um and that's where also where we're gonna put our gauges uh like we had them before around around the cage but yeah it's just uh small details to make it look clean and stuff like that so the good thing about having good friends as always and let me make a side note that it's always Damien hitting me up to correct some shit um, so you know you saw I put the carpet in and yada yada um, I put it on my Instagram story and then Damien's like yo wash that and I was like I already did I already soaped it I already scrubbed it I vacuumed it like six times you guys saw in my previous video um, one of them I think it was like episode four or something like that and you know that's as clean as gonna get uh so he told me hey pass by bring the carpet we're gonna pressure wash it so you know in uh in theory to keep everything nice and clean and doing everything right and not being lazy about shit um we're gonna go ahead and we're on our way over there right now go get it pressure washed and put it back in and make the cuts that we have to make so it can fit nice um and just look overall clean you know if we're going out of our way to do everything right might as well continue the process and do that with the carpet as well so let's see how this goes um you know once again man thanks thanks uh to all my friends who keep pushing me and keep lighting that fire up my ass and telling me to you know you know keep pushing and keep keep doing shit right um a lot of people are comp complimenting the build um and really like how it's coming out so far you know um i really like how it's coming out so far which is the most important and you know we're gonna keep pushing and make sure that this comes out you know clean at the end of the day uh, as clean as possible because it is a drift car it is gonna get dirty smoke tire all that shit in there and dusty so i mean you know just try to keep it you know decently clean so at least you know for one time when we build it up for the first time before we even decide to drift it it's gonna look very clean and then after we drift it you know it's just you know, try to maintain it at that point. So, yeah, man, let's let's get it done. so happy with the way the carpet came out super dirty but now it is super clean um so gonna go ahead and uh reinstall it uh and start cutting up what i have to 
to make it fit nice and snug around the, the blocks of the cage, um, the bases, and then, um, yeah, we're gonna put that in, finish putting up some more plastic panels that we have for the car, and that's about it for the interior. We're not gonna put in the seats or the dash, um, which means we're not gonna put the center console as of right now, but um, I might place the center console there so you guys can get a, an idea of how it's really gonna look, but man, I am so happy with the way everything is coming out taking my time with it doing one step at a time making sure everything comes out proper um super exact super excited to like reveal and uh whenever i get the car running and you know go to our first show or car me or drift event whatever the case may be man just to be back in my car and being able to show off what i've done and um what i built with the help of a lot of people uh jackson performance and uh friends uh, that keep pushing me to really do this proper um, soup you know could I got no no words to explain how this build is making me feel I am very anxious and very uh, uh, you know I just want to get back into the car and drive my car I really miss it but at the end of the day I know it's gonna be worth it once it's done and you know I'm not gonna regret this decision ever so um, you know let's uh this is one step forward to a, a better build and a dream build that I've always planned on, so let's get it. Man, this is coming out better than I thought. I already made the cuts to fit around the box. Made the cut over there. Now she's sitting right where she needs to be. Yes, sir. I got the plastic that goes right here. Uh, I think they're called like door sills, so I got that. Man, she looks good. That's just sitting there just for like to kind of see what it looks like but man she is coming along fantastic all right today's the day we're gonna paint the uh, z calipers z32 calipers um we got to finish up the clear coat on the side mirrors so i figured um we're gonna paint these first and then once they're painted nice and dry um we're just gonna hit the side mirrors and this with the clear coat as well um and just do it all in one job so yeah we're gonna clean it we're gonna tape off some of the parts there and we're just gonna go for it so let's do this all right so we just painted the bar that goes under the dash um, we're just doing this we're getting to put the dash back in um, so we're just knocking this out um, and that's pretty much it guys thank you for staying along this is episode 9 uh, don't forget to subscribe like and comment we're gonna end it right here next next episode holy shit baby that's next weekend we're getting ready for that it's gonna be one hell of a weekend so stay tuned and come on a ride with us peace <laughs>